just you're completely well, able to become these weird kind of creatures. I have a question. I don't have a, a computer, but my husband does, and uh, I will occasionally Google myself. Yeah, and, yeah. And I, um, I have a bad problem, which is you know everyone on on the internet says lousy things for the most part, and. Because I have low self-esteem, I go, oh, they're right. Yeah, Everything yeah. shitty they say is completely true. Do you ever f- – do, yeah. do you feel like, <laughs> fuck you, I'm going to write well, down I your address say, and then – I will then- say that you know, any review you get in this, in this business, you, re- you see it and if it's like, Rufus Wainwright, the most amazing you know, singer-songwriter of his generation, da, 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 you're like, okay, next article, boom. Something bad comes out, you read the whole thing. And and, and and do the shitty things, and, and, you, yeah, and, and those and, you go. And it, that's you know, true. Lodges right. into your brain. I mean, really. Real quick. Though, okay, the insecurity. But, but is it? Do you agree with the amazing part, or do you agree with the negative part? <sighs> Are you know. angry at the negative? Because how could they possibly think this is negative? I don't know. I I, I you think know. I think it's. I think what it is is that you when you're know. on stage, and this is what this is, I think is the, where, how it breaks down for me, and and maybe I'm the, I don't know I'm just I, once again being honest about what I go through is that when you're on stage, what it takes to perform well and to really, you know, sit out there for two hours singing your guts out and getting into it and 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 projecting is the th- belief that you're the most amazing person on earth right. and that you are the you know God's answer to everything and um so you but you have to inhabit that so then there's a a, an inevitable fall from there where where then you know maybe i am the devil too and uh, and i don't have any talents and i have no kind of and it's and it's all a hoax and and so it's just those extremes that uh, that i think a lot of performers go through but me but me especially because as i said i've been very very um, t- I've been totally honest about everything and real about who I am. And I'm not saying that others don't, but most other performers have a slight bit of you know mystery to who they are on stage as to, part to who they are in real life. And, That's funny you say that because and, um, to us, huge Rufus Wainwright fans, there there is a mystery just built in because of your talent. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's um, like who's we sit around. I mean, we we'll drive you know to gigs and stuff, and and I'll. Like you know, Zebulon, meet me behind the school, yeah. uh, and what for tea and ice cream? Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. we'll debate for an hour. Do you? Me- it's got to be double entendre. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna have tea, and I will scream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah or is yeah. it ice cream? Yeah. Well, it's a bit. It's a bit about. That's a bit about. She's like, it has to be that he's gonna scream. It's a bit about. It has to. Be. <laughs> no, you, I, I, I love it. Uh, what pop songs do you like? Are there any ones that come up that you wish you wrote? Uh. Well, I mean, I, I I'm a I'm a huge Burt Bacharach fanatic, so about eighty thousand of big his pops. songs. Well, I mean, uh, but but you mean big pop songs now, like yeah. that are out. Um, whew, uh, what do I really like? Um, I like uh, the no. junk in my trunk thing, uh-huh, or the yeah. milkshake one, like my milkshake, milkshake in my yard. bum. Like there's a milkshake the boys in my love bum. love when I bring my milkshake to the yard. Yeah, that one I like. You like dropping I like, like it's milkshakes. Hot? You like milkshakes? Yeah, too? <laughs> I like milkshakes. So I like that one. Um, that's it. Why? That's like ancient already. Uh, and maybe um, I don't know. I don't like. I, I'm not so. I wish Lady Gaga was better. I mean, better, better kind of song person, because I, I think she's she super talented. She better than her predecessors, though, at least. Yeah, I mean, but I just, I just, I just, the sound, that general sound and the kind of, the just the poppy uh, doldrums of it is... is... When are you going to make an Auto-Tunes album, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ruben <laughs> Wainwright, Arkansas. Zebulon. <laughs> 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 um, so... You, uh, cigarettes and chocolate milk, I talked about earlier, and I know we're rounding third here because you have a very important thing yes, to get to tonight. To and that sing. is, you're going to Rick Schroeder's house for a private gig. Yes, I, Rick, yes. If he knew what was going to hit him, <laughs> if he knew what was going to hit him, he'd run for the hills. I think uh, he lives in Arkansas, doesn't he? Rick Schroeder. You know what? I'm going to send you a little backstage present when you're in Arkansas. Okay, okay, good. When they go, hey, uh, there's a guy here who wants to meet you, make sure you open the door. And if he doesn't have toe-head blonde hair, you send them back. And then Bill Clinton walks in, I'm like, excuse Excuse me, I was expecting Rick Schroeder. Oh, Rick, you, you gotta Could get. You please leave. I'm like Rick's roadie. Get gotta, out of here. You gotta get through me to get to Rick. <laughs> if you want Rick, you gotta get the bill. Come on, buddy. 
Do you, uh, it seems like if cigarettes and chocolate milk really spoke to that hole that's inside of artists that needs to be filled, sometimes literally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Her question. Uh, how, what is it about you guys, you and the people that you admire, I won't lump you in with anybody yeah. else, is, do you perform and do this music because we're damaged or is it, are we damaged as a, as a cause of this hamster wheel we put ourselves on? Um, well, I mean, for me, it's, it's twofold because I, I've come as a, you know, as we know, I'm from a family of musicians on both ends of this, uh, mama and daddy, uh, side. And, and so there's a very practical side of, of point where, you know, I'm just doing the family business and, and it's, and I, and I had an in and I proved myself and we're just continuing the, you know, this, this tradition. So that's that. But then on the other hand, I don't know. I, hmm. Well, you went through your addiction. Yeah. I, we saw you on yeah, Spectacle with Elvis yeah, Costello yeah, saying that yeah. Vibrate was about trying to meet your meth dealer. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I thought it was <laughs> something else. It, I guess it was a love uh, song. Yeah. I guess, I guess, I, I guess I have a bit of that. But I do, I don't know. I also feel like it's the most important thing is that, is that that exists. Most artists have it, you know. You got to go to the dark side. You've got to feed this, 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 you know, this gnawing uh, hunger. But on the other hand, to actually supersede that and to get to the next level where it doesn't become all about mortgage, that parent, and, husband, and and but but it's as good and better. Yeah. Um, that's such a great challenge, and that well, you you're know, doing and it, that's man. what I want to do. You well, know, you're I doing it. You know, it's you are doing it. You know, I think two of your biggest fans, three now. We've Aww. recruited. We 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 <laughs> recruited him a couple months ago. But like when you know the the song, yeah. And to release an I mean, album. To be, I mean, let's talk about Madonna for a second because I mean, there's someone who you know is a perfect. I mean, she's very successful and she looks like Willem know, Dafoe. One, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's got those pipes, man. I know. I know. <laughs> There's pipes in her arms, um, but uh, but she's That's you what know I meant. yeah no yeah. I know oh okay uh, and uh, oh so but, defensive but, like no, no we're on we're, we're there's no camera they can't see you do that thing with your arm um, oh you were yeah, helping yeah, me yeah you are a friend yes. indeed but anyways but look at her and she's someone who you know she's had eight thousand hits and she's had you know. Uh, uh, done all sorts of outfits and had you know all sorts of lovers and so forth. But it's like she's really hit the ceiling in terms like what? How many more leotards do you have to yeah, wear? You know, how to, many more yeah. designers do you have to kind of? Um, it is a bit sad. Lean on you know I and the whole thing the... like and you're and she's right at the cusp <laughs> like write an opera or 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 I don't know. Um, a, she's a from play, Detroit. You know, Rufus. she's not writing an opera. I know, I know. She's not gonna write write an opera about Detroit. That's what Eminem Madonna. is for. That's what Eminem and Kid Rock are for. I just like, cha I think it's important to challenge yourself. That's really, a yeah. Really and challenge yourself. Challenge, well, challenging yourself is is a lofty aspiration that you can keep meeting. Reinventing yourself, you you run out of skin yeah, to try on yeah, yeah. after a while. Feel free to use that as a lyric in a song about Yorn. <laughs> Uh, Yorn, you run out of skin. I'm running out of skin to try on, Yorn. Okay? So I'm trying to hit that. Sounds really macabre. Well, what's, he's a macabre guy. You know, he's going to meet me behind the middle school and for ice cream. Um, you grew up, you know, everything, everything about your family has been so documented. I don't want to waste your time. Yeah. But uh, releasing the album uh, with, with your mother posthumous, your yes. mom's posthum posthumous album release. Yes. Did I say that correctly? Yes, okay. It was, did you know when you were writing those songs that your mother was going to die? Oh, I, no, we knew. We knew at you that knew. time. I mean, she heard the album. Uh, it, it wasn't released. Uh, I, I, it was released after she died, but she'd heard the album and she, she loved the record. But what was, what was most interesting about that whole process is that, is that I, you know, I'd written this very intense, you know, complicated, um, multifaceted work dealing with you know my feelings towards my mother mostly towards my mother's illness because she wasn't dead yet um but then as and I, but then when i came to her and i said i want to play you this and she was very sick um for once in her life she said and at the end of her life she said you know rufa and she she tried to engage but she was just too tired you know and she was dealing with obviously her own issues and and 
and it didn't and, and it be, and it didn't become about music anymore. It didn't really matter. Like what mattered was a foot rub. What mattered was you know that she finished her her uh, potatoes, whatever. I mean, right. th- those became the huge issues, and music very quickly receded into this completely unimportant, unimportant, un like she didn't want to listen to music. Yeah, there's uh, yeah, you know because it was minutes too emotional. My, yeah, you know, it's like it's silence yeah. was. Was golden at that point, and that that was a, that was just such a, an education that I think everybody goes through. Where art, especially art and stuff like, they really recede at, at yeah. the very end. You know, it becomes just about you know the living, being alive, and being around. And that's and all that days all or have. nights, of course, is the yes. album we're talking about for the listeners. And afterwards, that's when an art strikes back. My God, yeah, go on. <laughs> I mean, that's I mean, having to go out on tour after she passed away and, and sing every night on her. stage, and I mean that was. Wild. I can't imagine going on stage and saying, Martha, it's your brother calling. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> when you performed songs from that album on stage, did you feel her? Oh, no. I mean, I was completely um, haunted and, you know, possessed. And, and I mean, there was an amazing story where, where we had this beautiful uh, film by Douglas Gordon. It was my a 30-foot a, a um film of my eye opening and closing and 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 in very slow motion anyways it was this, and it was this kind of monster that we were carrying around and everything worked fine for the whole tour we're talking almost a year of touring all over the world the last gig in virginia or something we had to do the show and i was waiting backstage and i then like the film would start and then i'd kind of walk out and the film, it's even as like everything's shaking as I say this, but before going out on stage, the film would not go on. Nobody could figure it out, but the film would not go on. And we had to wait like 10 minutes for the eye to like show up. And then finally it did. And it was, it was almost, and it filled me with this. It was like, this thing did not want to die. You know, this, 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 you know, it was my mother's spirit saying like, I'm not ready to go yet. You know, and it was this, and it just, and the last show was just completely, infused with this you know it was it was kind of like wrestling a demon to the ground i mean it was very it was heavy but it was well it was good it was good so you do feel it when you're out on the road singing about her i did on that i mean i don't feel her as much right now i mean we've done a bunch of stuff because we've also done a lot martha and i have also done a lot with her material we did some incredible martha uh, wainwright by the way for the listeners one of the most underrated people <laughs> so i mean she's emmy lou harris yeah, you know i know she's, she's incredible yeah, she's incredible and so nice yeah i know but we did but we did these tributes to her of her material which are which are incredible songs my mother's songs and uh so it's all yeah so we've been through it with her now it's on now i've got you know my daughter and my marriage and your my daughter age. needs to marry my son <laughs> i think we all need to make this happen okay, viva okay. more okay an arranged okay. marriage all right. right we'll have a sikh ceremony in new delhi <laughs> lovely, lovely. Uh, in the expensive part of town of course yeah, naturally in detroit no we won't we're gonna write an opera about how we're not letting our kids <laughs> yeah. in arkansas no way you seem to have grown up in a perfect um environment for, and i could be completely wrong but for you to be an artist, uh, confused, a gay artist, yeah, uh, with a father musician, a mother musician, a, a, a home of musicians, Montreal, New York, L.A., yeah. and even speaking different languages, yeah, it it seems, and I'm an outsider looking in. It seems like you're you're the outlier where being gay completely didn't matter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I don't think it did matter. I, but I will say that that I was keenly aware when I started out how unusual that was and 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 decided to really put it in the f- forefront for two reasons: one so that it would eventually dissipate, that it wasn't a big deal, like you just keep hearing about it, you hear about it, and then it's over, but also because it was a historical historic moment i mean I mean, I am technically the first ever outwardly gay or f- f- guy to come out in the mainstream from the get-go you know yeah. the once you know it was the beginning well and, eddie money it, yeah Clay yeah but i uh, never no, did he come out or, originally we're completely making yeah jokes. okay okay eddie, eddie money remember two tickets to paradise okay it's all about okay. it's about dicks uh, <laughs> two tickets to paradise he's just you, if the, oh, the original video was it was it was very salacious rufus fuck him <laughs> with with two penises, so it did. My wife had sex with Eddie Money. 
uh, during his. So it it didn't really matter. It didn't matter, but it was also everything. I mean, it was it was the first it was the first time it had ever really happened, and and that it and that I wasn't you know completely you know annihilated by society. You yeah. Know? So 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 it's uh, how annoying is it when people ask you. Or how annoying is? It? I guess it's like the old Rufus the Baptist type yeah, thing yeah. of, like I I don't I don't want to be the yeah, guy. Like yeah, don't don't yeah. put the technical to it and 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 projecting is the th- belief that you're the most amazing person on earth right. and that you are the you know God's answer to everything and um, so you but you have to inhabit that. So then there's a, a an inevitable fall from there where where then you know maybe I am. The devil too, and uh, and I don't have any talents, and I have no kind of, and it's and it's all a hoax, and and so it's just those extremes that uh, that I think a lot of. Prof- but do you feel like <laughs> fuck you? I'm gonna write well, down I your address, say, and then I will and- say that you know any review you get in this in this business, you re- you see it, and if it's like Rufus Wainwright, the most amazing, you know, singer songwriter of his generation, da da da, you're like okay, next article, boom, something bad comes out, you read the whole thing. And and, and and do the shitty things and, 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 yeah, you t- and those and, and, you go and it, that's you know, true lodges into right. your brain. I mean, really. Real quick. Though, okay, the insecurity. But, but is it? Do you agree with the amazing part, or do you agree with the negative part? <sighs> Are you know. angry at the negative? Because how could they possibly think this is negative? I don't know. I I, I you think know. I think it's. I think what it is is that you when you're know. on stage, and this is what this is, I think is the, where, how it breaks down for me. And and maybe I'm the, I don't know. I'm just I, once again being honest about what I go through. Is that when you're on stage, what it takes to perform well and to really, you know, sit out there for two hours singing your guts out and getting into performance go through. But me, but me especially because as I said, I've been very very. Um, t- I've been totally honest about everything and real about who I am. And I'm not saying that others don't, but most other performers have a slight bit of you know mystery to who they are on stage as part to who they are in real life. And, That's funny you say that because and, um, to us, huge Rufus Wainwright fans, there there is a mystery just built in because of your talent. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's... Um, like who's... We just say you're completely, well, able to become these weird kind of creatures. I have a question. I don't have a, a computer, but my husband does, and uh, I will occasionally Google myself. Yeah, and, yeah. And I, um, I have a bad problem, which is you know everyone on on the internet says lousy things for the most part, and because I have low self esteem, I go, oh, they're right. Yeah, Everything yeah. shitty they say is completely true. Do you ever? Do 